Hey everyone, uh, today I want to go over um, a bit of a, a, a something I've seen a couple people talk about, or even even posts I've seen multiple times on Reddit. Uh, people asking in the Discord and things like that about uh, if, if you're going to spend money on this game, like what is the best way to spend money? What should I get? What should I buy in the shop? Should I get Season Pass? This and that. So, um, as somebody who is, I, I am technically a spender, but I'm not a big spender on this game. Um, and especially, I've, I've almost cut all of my spending off completely now, except for the Season Pass. Um, I'm going to show you what I recommend as is what I'm going to consider something like the best bang for your buck, right? So if you buy the red gems, what's the best thing to spend red gems on? I'm going to I'm going to kind of break it down um, and, and why what my thought process is, why I spend the way I do. Um, and then, you know, it's going to make it so you barely have to spend anything um, if ever, you know, like for me at this point outside of season pass, which I'll, I guess I'll get once a month because it's probably the, like one of the best deals, especially the ones we have now. And I'll show you why. Um, like the red gems, I'm only going to be getting those once every couple of months at this point because I just don't, I don't see the value in it anymore. Um, especially even though I'm not whaling, I don't even have an OB-10 weapon yet. Um, I just, I don't see me getting, uh, getting a bunch of gems. It really isn't going to push me to be able to do a whole much more content than I can already do. And so I just don't see the value in it. And, and especially if you're a day one, uh, day one free to play player, um, and you're on the fence about spending, like you honestly, like here's my recommendation. If you're already clearing nearly every piece of content and you go, you can look and say, Hey, this, this one piece of content, that's crazy hard. I'm gonna have to spend 200 bucks on it to clear it. And that piece of content gives you like a hundred gems, 500 crystals, whatever. It's not worth it. Don't do it. You know, let the whales whale. That's who my more, for the most part pays for the game. And so thank you whales, you know, always thank your whales. Cause if it's not for them, this game doesn't exist. Um, so I'm just going to kind of go over some of the things that I'm going to call the, you know, the, the best value, right? Best bang for your buck. So season pass, always a solid. Um, yeah, these things are nice. I guess if you like the banners and you're into the, the background, that's cool and all, I guess. Uh, but the, the main thing is, uh, is, is the value you get out of this. Um, some of the big stuff is obviously you get a lot of crystals out of this, you know, you, especially if you pay for it, there's a thousand there, there's another 600, there's another 600, there's another 900, then you got 900, 500, 500, 500, 500. you get a lot, right? There's a, there's a lot to get uh, but especially one of the big ones right now uh, is this guy right here this five star weapon voucher um, this is a pretty pretty good deal right I would say it's pretty decent because um, normally they haven't always had this right this has only been in I think on this one the last two I think the last two have had this um, and this is a weapon voucher that guarantees you to pick whatever weapon you want from the exchange shop um, and you can do whatever you want in fact I'm still holding on to mine I believe if I come into my exchange shop, I'm still holding on to mine because I don't really have a weapon yet that I'm like, I need this to complete something, right? Like I have a couple I could get like Maritime Sword. I could get that up to OB6 right now, but I'm only like 30 pieces away. So I'm like, I don't really want to spend it on that. So um, I usually hold on to them until I feel like, all right, this is going to make a difference in something or it's going to take me to OB6 or OB10. Then I'll do it. Like all you like, like I need one more, two more Murasame to get to OB10. If I pull one more, um, sure, I'll go ahead and get it to OB10 if I feel like it's going to get me a boost I need at that point. Um, so I usually recommend for these, hold on to them until you absolutely need them, if you get them. But yeah, so I mean, Season Pass is always a great choice, especially right now because of the weapon voucher. You get the gear voucher. Um, I'm personally, again, I, I'm, I'm thinking value here, right? I can always get the other, most of the good gear is in the, is in the, uh, like the banners that come up. So again, I'm holding on to my gear vouchers here. Um, I have four. I'm just saving up right now. Um, I've only bought two things because I, I really like this Aerith one and it's actually been the one I'm still using more than anything else. Uh, and the Barrett one because I, I just don't have anything for Barrett, right? So I, I got the Barrett one because I was like, well, I, apparently I can't click on it. Um, so the only other one I've considered maybe getting is, is Lucia's because uh, hers actually gives her a physical attack boost, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't have anything else. I have like a couple others for her, but they're all magic boosts, right? And I tend to actually use her more physical than anything else. Um, and these other ones, I really don't need them, right? I have I have good ones already that overtake these other ones, or I just don't use the character. I, I, I don't use red at heart. Like, nobody uses red, let's be real. Uh, I don't use red. I uh, barely use Glenn, barely use Matt. I, I have I have better options than them usually. Um, so yeah, so you get that as well out of the season pass. So season pass, always a good choice. Right now is probably the best time to do it because the amount of gems you get or crystals you get, I call them gems, it's just a habit. Um, so so that's a really good one. But if we go into the shop, this is where this is where most of your actual money is gonna be spent. 
and this is where this is where you have to try to figure out okay what's the best value so here's how i view this right they didn't do this at first but they started to and that's where i'm like okay now i'm gonna be picky with what i get so they have they have these things right here where you can get like a guaranteed Yuffie ticket and 10 and 10 uh, draws you're like you're thinking okay hey yeah you know that's pretty good i get a i get a five star Yuffie ticket i get 10 draws for 1500 normally a draw would cost you 3000 here's the here's the thing though and this is this is my opinion and again this is my opinion but I, I, again i'm coming this at this from the i the the, the view of uh, of maximum value right so to me 10 gotcha tickets are nice, but we get these so much. It's like, I don't need, I don't need a, to get the gotcha ticket. And the gotcha ticket doesn't guarantee me anything. It doesn't guarantee me a five star. The odds are about 54% to get one or more five star. But it doesn't, again, it doesn't guarantee me anything. It's about a 50-50 chance, right? So I, so to me, I'm sitting here thinking, well, that's a 50-50. And I get one guaranteed five star that I don't get to pick, but I don't get stamps. And, and you, it cannot be understated how valuable stamps are because, because like I've always said, and like a lot of people say, um, the gear from banners is the most valuable thing in this game. You want to focus on those stamps, focus on the gear. That's the stuff you want to get that you pull for gear. You don't pull, you don't pull for the band, the weapons, right? I don't think there's ever been one where I've pulled just to get, oh, that's not true. I did pull for Sephiroth's weapon because the gear wasn't that useful to me, but the only reason I did it was because it was limited and it was going to be useful. I didn't even go for Aerith's uh, for the FF9 banner. Um, I only went for, for Sephiroth's because I knew that weapon was going to be useful, and yes, it was a good choice. Even though I only have it at OB1 now after getting enough points or enough uh, pieces, um, it was it's been it was, it was a godsend for, for Bahamut EX. So... Um, that's one of the few cases, only limited time, where I would ever do it. And it's only because I saw the value in that weapon specifically. So I, I went, got six stamps and like two pulls, which was really lucky. And I bounced. I didn't get any more. But anyway, back to uh, back to this here. Um, as you can see, the only thing I got out of these, and I, I'm sitting on, what am I sitting on, chat, uh, guys? I'm so used to saying chat because I stream. Um, I'm sitting on over 7,000 red gems right now. Um, so I, I literally, like like the world is my oyster in, in, in the shop, right? The shop is my oyster. I can buy whatever I want, but I'm not going to, right? I'm not going to buy any of these things. And here's all these things. I'm not going to buy any of these things. I just did the one for the, uh, the bomb rush, right? Um, there was the limited time ones. I didn't get any of those. Why? Well, we've already seen what they're going, what they will offer at some point. And so when you do buy something, I, I want to maximize it. So the, here, here's my thinking. For 300, I can get a single gold, uh, single five star ticket, and if I come up here, I have to spend 1500 to get it. Right? Why would I spend five times more to get this in a chance at a five star? Right? I, it's no guarantee. So, the fact that I have to spend five times more for a chance at another one, just one, when I could potentially get two for 600 right this is a better value so at this point now when i play if i cannot get something around this value i won't buy it at this point right because the value is not as good previously for the new year's and christmas they had one that was like it was fantastic it was like 500 i think it was 500 maybe it was seven eight hundred i can't remember the exact amount maybe it was 800 and it gave you like I think it was something like something crazy. It was like two guaranteed five stars, like 20 draw tickets. I'm like, bro, I'm in there. Bam, sold. Easy. Didn't even think about it, right? This one, I saw it, didn't even think about it. it the value was too good. And, and that's the thing is like, if you really want to maximize, if you want to spend on this game, maximize what you're spending, you want to only get stuff like this. I have heard it a thousand times over, you know, get the legendary bundle, blah, blah, blah. I honestly don't see the value in this. I don't. It's 5,000. 5,000. You want to know how much it costs to get 5,000, dudes? Um, about 40, almost 40 bucks, right? A little about, I'd say when you drop it down, probably about 30, 32, 33 dollars. $32, $33 for that, dude. That is not worth it to me. Not worth it. When I can, when I can spend, when I can spend that same amount, I can spend that same amount and I can gear, if I just be patient, Right, buy something like this, the 6200, um, or this one here, the the Yuffie pack, and I just be patient. I can literally spend what thirty nine dollars here, uh, yeah, thirty nine bucks, and I can get 20, 20 of these. That that it's just not even close, it's not even comparable versus one. Twenty to one seems like seems like pretty bad odds, right? Normally, if you're thinking about gambling or whatever, 
So yeah, this is why I don't buy this. I honestly don't think this is a good value. I know people go, oh, you can pick the weapon you want. It's like, that's great. But as you see, I've been holding on to mine since like two weeks because I don't, I don't need it. I don't, I don't need it. Right. So it's like, you, you, it's all about value. So if you're going to spend, and this is, again, this is my personal recommendation, um, that, that I wouldn't get this one. I, I don't think the monthly legendary is that good. Um, the only one in here I thought was really good is the legendary pack, right? You get the gear voucher. That's the one I got Eris thing with. It's two bucks, right? Everybody can afford two bucks mostly, right? You can, you can go outside and just ask or ask your parents or whatever it might be. Um, you know, pretty easy. I mean, and you can even see here and I know people go, oh, but it's got the Mithril too. Well, let me show you what's going on with my Mithril, dudes. <laughs> let's take a look here. Uh, okay, let's just pick a random one. Let's look at the level. Look at that. I'm holding on to 140 Mithril. Why? I'm holding on to it because I don't feel like I have anything, again, that's going to really get me that extra boost that I need for something. Everything in here that I'm pretty much equipped, you can see all the E stuff. It's pretty much all at the top. All the stuff I'm already equipping is 90, and that's because this stuff is very good, and I'm using it almost every single fight. A lot of them, right? So, I mean, a mad minute. A madman I use in every fight, almost. Edge wings, every fight. A sun umbrella, every fight. Fairy tail. Amaran's claws. Maritime sword. Zidane's sword. You know, some of these, like, some of these I probably didn't need to, to OB say, uh, I mean, sorry, I didn't need to take to 90. Um, these two, they were really, really early on, so I didn't understand how little we were going to get of Mithril's. But at the same time, now I'm like, well, shoot it, they're just, I'm just sitting on Mithril. So I think, I think I'm going to be fine at this point. Um, you know, there's, there's some others in here, like, this might be worth taking to 90, I use it sometimes for a support weapon, but you know, there's a lot in here that I don't don't use. I I, I should probably take I and E B to 90 to be honest. I I, I really should. Um, I just haven't been I haven't used it yet because I have I'm not using it in the Sephiroth fight. So probably the next thing that comes up where I do use it, I'll probably take that bad boy to 90. Um, this guy will probably get up there. Black Black Whiskers. He'll probably I'll probably take him to 90 at some point here because I don't even have a 90 yet for Zach. Oh, I guess I do. For eat, but but yeah. So so you know when it comes to buying stuff in the shop. Um, if you really, really want to stretch out and get the best bang for your buck, only buy like the gold tickets for 300. You'll have other ones that pop up. It might be like 10 draw tickets for 300, 500. I would say those are worth it, right? Because 300, 500 is still good, right? Again, you're comparing it to this 1500. And if I get, if I can get the same deal for, let's just say I get this for 300 and there's an option for another, a 10 pack for 300, a 10 tickets, that's 600. That's th that that's like a 250 percent better value than this thing, right? So that's why I don't get these. Um, now, as, when it comes to actually spending the money and buying buying the packs, um, that's really going to be up to you and what you want to do. When I bought this pack up here, the one that I with the with the red gems I currently have, what I purchased was the um, was the Tifa and Cloud pack that gave me I think it was 8,800 gems. It gave me a Tifa and Cloud guaranteed five star. And then it also gave me um, 100 uh, character specific pieces. I specifically wanted that one because I need to boost the FF9 weapons because I don't have any other way to do it. So if you have the FF9 weapons, especially those two, and you need to boost them, I would say those are probably the packs you want to focus on when they do show up here. Um, otherwise, you know, I, I, the, the, these aren't terrible value if you really want to go hard on Yuffie. The ones here, the monthly epics, they're not, I, I don't recommend them. Um, or the monthly and the monthly legendary. Is there even a legendary? Yeah, there's not really like there's this one I I personally don't recommend them um, because because you don't need all this extra junk, right? This is all extra junk and um, And yeah, you get a bunch of red crystals, but I don't think those red crystals crystals outweigh the, the extra two um, Gold tickets you get plus you're essentially getting three gold tickets is, or five star tickets what you're getting because with the you're getting 100 uh, 100 character specific pieces for two characters essentially that's one five star right so so essentially you're getting three so i i would say that's the best value that you're going to get is those when those pop up um they have one here technically for yuffie I, this one's not as good right they had it for the same price here um or maybe it was 70th no i think it was 60 same price they had cloud tifa and then then the character specific parts i i just don't think they had the memories i could be wrong it's it's been a little bit um but, but those are a way better deal than just going with these ones. So that's what I recommend uh, if you guys are going to spend money on this game. Um, you know, you want to maximize your efficiency, how much you're spending, um, and make your make whatever you're putting in this game go a long way if you're not a whale. Because obviously whales, you, you guys go ham. You do your thing. 
But um, but for low spenders like myself, dol I don't know. Am I a dolphin? I don't know. I don't know what's considered a dolphin. Um, I've put maybe I don't know how much I've put. Honestly, it's not. I don't think it's too bad. But uh, but yeah. So if you're gonna do it, you know, buy those things. You'll you'll have the red gems for a couple for a couple uh, probably a couple months. Honestly, um, and then don't ever use the red gems on the draws. Don't ever touch it. Right. Avoid the red gems like the plague. You don't want to do use them here ever because you get so many regular crystals. Obviously. Yeah, don't ever touch them. So uh, hopefully this helps some of you guys out and you're able to, uh, you know, get um, get some better value out of the things you buy or, or at least know, hey, here's, yeah, okay, I have an idea of what I, how I should spend in this game. I want to maximize what I'm spending. So, you know, if that works for you and it helps, glad to hear it. So anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I will see you on the next one. So keep rocking. Peace. Thank you for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit like and subscribe. You can catch me live every single day on Twitch and YouTube. So be sure to check the links down below in the description for my channels. And I will see you guys on the next video.